Hey guys, Dean Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This world loves to rhyme, as do I, because I'm a poet and I wasn't even aware of it. 2-5 Alpine Incline. Here we go. We are ready to play. I feel like this world in general is a good mix of challenge as well as fun. These next two levels aren't super long, which is convenient, but they're just challenging enough that you should probably not have too much trouble with it. I mean, I like to be clear. You, the viewer, may not have too much trouble with it. Can't say much for myself. I don't want to speak for anybody, but I, uh, I believe in y'all. I think that there's a good chance that you'll do better than I will. So there's the first of our letters, our K. Feeling pretty okay. How are we feeling, everybody? Are we feeling good? Are we having a good kind of, if you're in the States, kind of end of our, nearing the end of our winter? It's almost springtime. I always get very hopeful near the end of February, March, kind of in that time frame because the, uh, the weather starts to warm up a little bit, which is really nice. And it, it feels like nature is healing, which is nice. But then there's also moments when it's like this week, when we had one day where it was 60 degrees fire around height. And then the next day it was like, I don't know, 30? Something insane like that. So Mother Nature is pretty, uh, pretty cruel this past week. And it's been, it's been a little brutal, especially as somebody who's part of their occupational requirements is to be outside. Well, we don't love that. We don't love it. All right, so we got these bad boys wearing their helmets. Make sure to always wear your helmets, ladies and gentlemen. And get yourself another puzzle piece. I really like that they are wearing helmets. That's a, that's a, that's a nice kind of... I guess, diegetic way of kind of explaining what's going on. I think that's that's a really nice touch and I really appreciate it. So thank you game for doing things that I like. I feel like there's probably gonna be, yes, there's gonna be a letter or a puzzle piece coming up. So make sure you grab that, you grab it. This is also one of those levels where like, I'm not entirely confident. I know where everything is, but that's okay. Cause I rarely do. Oh. Oh, 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 I thought that was a death. That felt like death. And sometimes I smell like death, so it always checks out. Something that smells like death, which I can definitely recommend not doing. Um, I was recently pretty sick. Had the, uh, the old poisoning of food. So it's always really awesome when the things you need to survive try to kill you, so. Would not recommend. I would say that's probably a bottom five moment of my life. Would not uh, wish that on anybody. Actually, no, I mean, there might be somebody I'd wish it on. Maybe somebody from my past who uh, stole my Lunchable in fourth grade. That kind of person deserves, no, I'm just kidding. That's not very nice. I'm trying to be a nice guy. Not a nice guy trademark, but a nice guy. Just the regular kind. The racking up positive karma from holding doors and saying please and thank you kind. That's the that's the kind that I like to align with. Okay. These are fun. Yeah, this level's neat. I enjoy the the balloons. The hot air balloons. I don't know what the word is for hot air balloon. In en Francais, I don't even know why I'm even worried about it, but I did study a little bit of Francais in uh, in school, which was fun. I think everybody should try to learn a foreign language, any, any kind, any any kind of foreign language you like. I think it's a good way to test your, ooh, okay. I think it's a good way to test your, your brain skills and to, uh, it makes you kind of think with both sides of your brain. So I think that's fun. Also, I feel like I'm missing something. 
feel like I'm missing a Kong letter. Let's see. Oop. It's probably something that I missed here. I'm trying to think of what this music reminds me of. Yes. I think I did miss something. There's a bonus here. That's the fourth one. Ooh, this is one of these, huh? I don't like these. I like this one. I'm okay. I don't like the bonuses very much, but like realistically speaking, I'm just firing rapidly. There's no kind of rhyme or reason. And I got all of them. You can't really mess that one up, which is nice. You can just kind of haphazardly fling yourself out of those barrels. And here you gotta time the balloon raft right and land on the boop. Get yourself a life. Get a life. That's what I'm talking about. You need to get yourself a life. Okay. That was pretty good, right? We enjoyed that. But I'm trying to think. Makes me wonder. I think that there was a moment when uh, at the at the one checkpoint, I saw something and I didn't I didn't go for it. So I'm gonna pop in real quick and see if we can get there for a moment. That's fun, right? Seeing the same level twice. It's a little more content for you. I'm sure you guys can appreciate all this beautiful content, right? I just don't want these levels to be super short. Or, sorry, episodes to be super short. So it's a little bit more, uh, a little more content for y'all. I don't think anybody's gonna complain about that. Oop, okay. Didn't say it'd be good content. So, there's that. I love the background, how it's kind of like gives you a little, uh, little taste on where things will be kind of in the future. I don't know if anything in the background actually is rel- Oh, I guess it is. Yeah. That's a nice touch, having things be present that you can kind of get your eyes on. We'll ignore this for now because we're just trying to power through to get back to where we were. There was a mist vine I thought I saw before that I didn't take. It's not too far after here. I'm gonna make sure I get everything. There was another checkpoint and another vine, and I remember it being being around here, so we're gonna we're gonna make good on it. We're not too far away. And we can move on to the next level. I'm also not trying to cheese this, so not grabbing any goodies I don't deserve. Okay, so I think it was around here. Yeah, there's a vine up there. I didn't see it. Okay. So, ah, there it is. That's sneaky. Look at that. And there we go again, destroying property. As per usual, hopefully whoever owns these hot air balloons in that window, hopefully they've got insurance. I think insurance is a scam. But anyway, so we will grab this puzzle piece and then we'll be able to finish up with this level. Very nice. That's the only one we missed. I try not to spend too much time going back into levels and whatnot, because I don't think it's super fun to watch me play it more than once, but ooh, ooh I thought I was thought I was doomed there. But hey, just pretend like I, I'm a speedrunner and uh, that's what's happening. Yeah. Actively lie to yourself. That's fun. I've always wondered what people's impression is on, like, I don't want to say lying per se, but like, not even just stretching the truth, but like, there are certain moments when you'll be confronted with information. You know, maybe the dreaded, do I look fat in this? And how do you answer that question? How do you respond to people asking potentially insane things where the answer is never going to be good, no matter what you do. Actually, you know what? In between here, because I'm closer to it, I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, collectibles now at Funkies. Let's go ahead and do that. And I will get five of them as per usual. I mean, I have so many banana coins. Let's see if I get anything new. Okay, great. All right. Three Funkies in a row and a minecart toy. Okay. 
seeing those little collectibles, those little, um, those little machines. I remember when I was a kid, we'd go out to eat or something like that, and they'd have it at the restaurants we'd go to, and I remember I would beg my parents for a handful of quarters, and it was always just the stupidest crap, but the things that I do remember that were cool were those little, uh, they're very gooey. I don't know if that's the right word, but like, uh, they were those little sticky, like a little hand, a little sticky stretchy hand thing that you could, you could slap on the wall and, you know, actually, you know, we'll, we'll get Diddy for a little bit. I've been using a lot of Dixie. I've been singing Dixie. Only the Union version, of course. But, um, yeah, those little machines and I used to be super pumped because those little sticky hands were fun where you could kind of whip them at your friends, which is good. You should always try to physically injure your compadres. All right, so this one is all about ziplining. If you thought the zipline shrine was intense about it, pff, you just wait. Oops, and we're dead. <laughs> oh wait, shoot. The game had mercy on me. I thought I was actually dead. That's hilarious. There's a little barrel there in case you forget what to do. Oh, now, okay, now we're actually dead. That was not intentional. Oh my. That's great. I love that the game kind of bails you out, like, in case you forgot how to use them. Like, I I have not forgotten how to use zip lines, but I did in that exact moment. Is there anything? Okay. That's just referring to the, the little platform from earlier. Yeah, you have to ring the bell. You gotta ring my bell, 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 ring my bell. When you jump down, you gotta make sure you grab it. You gotta just grab it. Oops, I feel like that might have been something important. Hopefully it wasn't. Maybe it was. There's the K though. So we're doing okay. It always makes me laugh whenever I go and I play through these Donkey Kong games. And I don't get all the uh, the requisite letters. And you're just left with like Kung or Og. Other funny derivatives. Okay, I would like to have you. Okay, and we're dead. <laughs> Sometimes playing this game feels like an effort in futility. But that's okay. It's a little tough to commentate and play at the same time. I say that. And there are also people that live stream themselves speedrunning, and they are perfect at it, so. The blame lies within. But anyway, hop on that fish. I wonder how those fish feel that they've been turned into ammo. They don't get a choice in the matter. But here's another one of the puzzles, the mini games. I don't really care for these, and I think that the barrel ones are palpable, like I can stomach it. But there are just so many of these that I don't really feel like after a while, they just kind of feel a little tiresome. I don't particularly enjoy them. And some levels have more than one, like the last one did. That's fun, right? I love the idea of having a penguin that's a fish archer, though. Oh boy. Woo! Yes, I do love that. That is wonderfully creative. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm pr I promise I am not phoning it in right now. This is... This is me trying my best. I mean, okay. That's probably not fair. Oh, okay. I'm definitely not trying my best. I'm not also, I'm also not, not trying. So just to be clear, maybe there's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of whimsy in watching me make a fool of myself. Not intentionally though, so I don't want people to think that I'm like, you know, I'm goofing. I'm just trying to be a big old goof. That's not true. Right, I feel like there's something coming up here that I gotta be ready for. Kinda makes me a little dizzy. Oh, there's this. Make sure you grab the vine again. Wrap your hands around that vine nice and tight. Give it a good, good firm grip. Ooh, okay. Okay, oh. All right, so that's not how you're supposed to do that. I think in this level alone, I've died four, five times. Okay. How am I? Okay. So I just need to 
I just need to go. That's it? Oh. I got excited. I thought that was going to be like a, uh, a, a puzzle piece or something, but no, it was just nothing. Great. Okay, Diddy. Let's, uh, let's get to scooting. Ooh, that looks like a little secret. Actually, I don't know if I can get the, the top bananas. Top banana. Here's another mini game in case you haven't had enough. Thankfully, though, this one is just the barrel blasting variety. Also, this specific kind of mini game, if you're playing this with somebody else, it launches you both separately out of the barrel. So I have no idea how you're supposed to coordinate that because the person who's blasting has to like tell you in advance that it's happening. It is a huge, it's a huge disaster. I've never had success with it. So thanks game for making super fun, awesome things all the time. Also Diddy's face, grabbing that puzzle piece. I wish I could be excited about that. You ever met somebody or like maybe a kid? Kids are a good example. Wee lads and lasses. You ever met a little kid who's just like super stoked about like anything? Like I think of like my nephew, he's three. That'll be this video immediately. Someday he'll be watching these when he's like a 45 year old man. If we're even all still alive by that point. But uh, yeah, there's just things that he does and says where he's just so stoked about everything. I love that. That's probably how, like, I feel like everybody kind of is at one point in their life. Like, life's a lot simpler, and there are a lot less responsibilities. Being an adult is kind of tough. And for some time, in certain cases, sometimes it's very tough. So let's talk about this puzzle piece real quick. How in the heck are we supposed to get this? You'd think that you can just run along. You cannot. Oop, I bonked against the ceiling. You want to do a roll jump, get yourself some distance, and then the platforms will stick around and collapse way behind you. Okay, so we were saved by the bell. Actually, I don't know if that's true, but uh, we gotta make our way downtown. All these collapse and platforms. There's a single banana here. Don't forget this one. Get that final, oh, final puzzle piece. I got stuck there for a second. So this one, we should be one and done. I believe we're pretty close. Oh, okay, great. I don't know if I can get up there and get it now. Wait a second. Yes, we can. If I got... Oh. Okay. Well, not that time. Yes, we can. Parentheses. Eventually. Also, that sets you back really far. That's really unfortunate. But what can you do? I mean, what you can do is, you know, do the level right the first time. But, you know, let's not ask too much, okay? Life is stressful. I'm doing my best to provide this healthy and nutritious free content for everybody. Okay. Oop. Oh, nice. Kind of fell there and landed right back on the platform. Let's ring that bell, baby. Okay. It's another life to bring us back. I don't really feel like my net, my net lives total really took a hit there. But yeah. All Kong letters. All five puzzle pieces. That's a finished level, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Next time we'll be taking on the bonus levels. And then we'll hit up the boss. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. I've been D-Mike. I will see you later. Bye.